What's going on, everybody? Matthew from the righttrader.com. Huge breaking news in the crypto space, guys. Uh, the SEC has made an update that they have not green lighted the spot Bitcoin ETF and they have clarified confusion from a previous post on the official SEC account, okay, uh, which actually they deleted now. Uh, but yes, uh, if we go to my uh, Twitter here, uh, or sorry, my Instagram, we can see that they had actually uh, posted, this was on Twitter, uh, on the official SEC account that they had approved, right, so to say, uh, the spot Bitcoin ETF for all of uh, the applicants, and that is now false, okay? So I'm here to break the news to you guys first. Uh, the Bitcoin ETF has not been approved yet. Uh, and, you know, um, this has also been confirmed now by Gary again. So you can see the tweet here. Uh, the SEC Gov Twitter account was compromised and an unauthorized tweet was posted. The SEC has not approved the listing and trading of spot Bitcoin exchange traded products, at least as of right now. Okay. And Bloomberg has also confirmed this. I'm posting all the updates live on my Twitter, guys. Go follow me there. Also on my uh, Instagram where I uh, corrected the news that uh, it has indeed been confirmed that there has not been an approval yet, but that the SEC account was hacked. This is major breaking news. Um, and also, uh, this is pretty big because, of course, there are uh, an estimated $100 billion on the sidelines that could flow into BTC if there is an ETF approval. But at this point, guys, it is not looking good, okay? Um, after we see that there uh, has been this compromise of the fake uh, spot Bitcoin ETF approval, uh, I am actually turning bearish on the uh, Bitcoin price and on the likelihood of a Bitcoin uh, approval. I think there's a chance now. Now, I'm not saying, you know, in the next couple months that it can't approve. But right now, as for the January 10th deadline, guys, I don't think it's going to get approved. And I think this could cause a pretty big dip. Um, so I think there's a 40% chance here that we now get a denial. Uh, if we go ahead and look at the coin market cap to see what's going on. As a result of this news, Bitcoin is pulled back now down a bit from 46k. Uh, surprisingly, Ethereum has pumped, which is very random. Okay, there tends to be you know crazy volatile uh, moves when this stuff happens. Solana is pulling back now a bit, and uh, you know the altcoins are actually uh, falling here um, pretty fast. So I think that uh, it's just a matter of uh, you know time, matter of minutes or hours now before we see the market seriously, seriously flip red. I'm expecting Bitcoin and ETH to probably drop five to ten percent here. In the coming hours and you know if we look at the uh the five minute chart look at what happened guys uh as the news uh got uh you know the fake news of the approval came out massive pump okay we actually pumped uh you know two percent over two percent like i said which i said watch out for 1.5 to two percent fake outs and guess what happened right after that guys massive five percent drop already and we're just on support now uh, we're probably going to lose this support in a matter of minutes and start crumbling down below 45k uh so be careful for that guys uh and keep in mind this is an extremely dangerous and volatile situation maybe they'll come out and say oh actually yes we did approve the bitcoin ETFs," or no we have not so anything could happen at any minute now i'm personally not uh trading this but i am giving live market coverage and uh insights and potential trade setups that we are going to take uh in the coming days here as this situation clears up out in um the right trader uh vip group uh, link to that in the description below. And of course, guys, go make sure to check out the best crypto exchange out there, Bing X. Link in the description down below. It's the official partner exchange of the Right Trader. And you can get $50 in USDT if you sign up uh, as a futures bonus. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to go follow me on Twitter for these live updates that I'm posting for all of you guys. And also on my Instagram. Link in the description down below.